This is called Because You Love Me. It was not easy, I'm sure, being widowed with a baby and left all alone. Humiliated and humbled, you made your despairing way home. Dealing with a disapproving mother and stepfather I know was really tough. The times were hard, but you had a baby, and I'm sure it got pretty tough. You could have chosen to give me up and start your life over free, but you struggled and you worked, and I know you did it because you loved me. Through the years, there were times I know that money was just not there. You sacrificed and took odd jobs, and I was young, and I didn't really care. I was too little to understand that money just doesn't grow on trees. But my needs were met, you sewed my clothes, and you raised me on your knees. You never let me know that we were so very poor. You just spoke lovingly. And I know you did it, Mama, because you love me. I remember a story that you told me of one time long ago. You decided to change your hair color. You wanted a different glow. I saw you as a blonde, and I began to try, and you turned yourself around. And you told the girl, my baby is afraid of me. Change it back to brown. Nothing was too much for my Mama to say or do or be. And I know now it was because you love me. The man you chose to father me and stand steadfastly by your side was a man not afraid to face, it, to face a 12-year-old and after knots were tied, you included me and my brand new baby sister and you let me help you all you could, even when I stuck her with diaper pins and didn't hold her the way I should. Quietly, you let me know I must be careful, but you never spoke angrily. You taught me how to be a mother, and you did it because you loved me. You became very ill and required some care, and I was such a clumsy little nurse, and so busy in my own life and ways, and I didn't really see you getting worse. Finally, when I began to fear that you would never again really be my mom, you held my hand and you comforted me, and even in my pain, you kept, even in your pain, you kept me calm. Dad proved his mettle and took care of us and was all a dad and husband could be. I knew that part of why you married this man was because you loved me. I was 16, broadly slaying, slap me if you dare. The mark you left across my face lasted a long time there. I caught a glimpse of brooding pain in your streaming eyes. I heard the tears catching your throat and I wanted to sympathize. Even through my shock and tears and anger, I could somehow see you were handling your budding rebel because you loved me. I was never able to present you with any real genetic grands, but each child was greeted with grandmotherly love and gentle hands. Jessica, Michael, Stephen, and even Nightmare Little Chris. Anyone who saw you with them would never guess anything amiss. Children that I fostered and you knew that although it was temporary, you welcomed them and you did it because of how much you loved me. And then Sarah came along and surprised Morgan was added to the scene. Morgan is a tiny child wise beyond her years, and Sarah is our new rebel queen. You accepted with love the man I chose. Finally found one like Dad. You can, you can see with motherly eyes that life now is the best I've ever had. And not that it matters, but none of these people are even close to your own ethnicity. You opened your heart and your arms because you love me. From the first poem that I wrote when I was five years old, and you had such pride, you always encouraged my attempts to write and applauded me when I tried. When I made the magazine cover, I was at work when you sent flowers, and I knew you were bragging to your friends, probably for hours. Through the years, we've had our times and finally have agreed to disagree, but you've taught me to speak my own mind because you love me. And even now, when I write something that you feel doesn't sound just quite right, and you have a problem with your daughter using vulgarity on a public stage at night, you say, baby, you have such a gift, and I know you're crazy and wild and nutty, but I don't know. But don't you know how to write without sounding so damn slutty? And that's why I wrote these verses to my wonderful dad and you as a way of showing that, mom, dad, I really love you too. Aww.